Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So if you are unable to update your Windows 11 to version 24H2 because of this error, that is 0xc1900101, the installation failed in the first boot phase with an error during boot operation. So if you are receiving this error, then to fix it, enable secure boot in system BIOS. So for this, you can shut down your computer first. Now, once the computer is shut down, you have to start your computer and then you have to tap the BIOS key on the keyboard which will take you to the system BIOS. In Dell computer the key is F2 as so as soon as you start the computer immediately keep on tapping the F2 this will take you to system BIOS. For different brands the key may differ like for HP computer it may be something else for Lenovo computer it may be something else. So start your computer and then you can just google which is the BIOS key for your brand and then start your computer and keep on tapping the BIOS key which will take you to the system BIOS. Now once the computer is shut down, start your computer and as soon as you start your computer, keep on tapping the F2 key on the keyboard. So for Dell computer it's F2, for different brand the key may differ. So go to the BIOS. Now once you go to the BIOS, now go to the boot option. Now once you go to the boot option, make sure the boot sequence is set to UEFI and then scroll down and then find secure boot. So in my case, uh, let me scroll down. So here you can see uh, secure boot option and right now my in my case secure boot is already enabled. So if this is disabled like if secure boot is off then you can turn on the secure boot. Now once you turn on the secure boot, now at the bottom apply changes and then are you sure you want to apply then click on OK and once done now you can exit and then you can check. So that should help you to update your Windows 11 to version 24H2 and you should not receive this error. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.